if you read the papers nowadays, it's, it's almost every day that you'll read about concussions, you know, and young people having concussions and what are the long-term consequences of concussions. What most people don't realize is that many of the symptoms of post-concussion syndrome are actually from cervical instability. Matter of fact, I would make the case, and I've made the case through the internet and currently writing some papers that cervical instability causes cervical spondylosis or degenerative disc disease or arthritis in the neck. Cervical instability, especially C1, C2, or atlantoaxial instability causes a lot of the symptoms of post-concussion syndrome, whiplash-associated disorder, Borreliu syndrome, as well as vertebral basilar insufficiency. And you could say, well, what are you talking about, doctor? Isn't there head trauma? Like, isn't there brain trauma, you know, when there's a concussion? Yeah, absolutely. But what people don't realize is the upper cervical vertebrae are just supported by ligaments. There isn't a disc between the occiput or the head and C1 and C1 and C2. And the reason that we're made that way is, you know, we have to have mobility. You know, you have to be able to move your head really, really quickly. And that can only happen if, you know, there isn't a disc between C0 or the occiput and C2. So the atlas and the axis are basically in place just because of ligaments. And I would say that most head traumas that people have, especially minor head traumas, and by minor head traumas it means there's just a short period where the person's dazed or they might lose consciousness for 20 seconds. I'm not talking about severe head traumas where somebody's in a coma for two weeks. 80 to 90% of concussions or traumatic brain injuries are labeled as minor. These cause minor uh, or just a little bit of altered consciousness when that happens, when you have a head trauma of that severity, a lot of the force goes on C1, C2. Like in other words, when the heads hit, a lot of the force actually goes on to the facet joints or capsular ligaments of C1 and C2. I mean, obviously the whole spine gets a, gets a force. And what people don't realize is when two football helmets hit together, I mean, the force can be like up to a thousand Newton force. You know, at least it's many, many hundred Newton force. Do you know what the force is needed to cause a capsular ligament injury like in C1, C2, or in the other parts of the neck? It's less than 100 Newtons. So obviously if somebody has a head trauma, you know, they fall down the stairs, hit the concrete, somebody punches them, you know, you know and they lose consciousness, they have a concussion or minor traumatic brain injury, trust me, they're getting capsular ligament injuries and capsular ligament injuries cause cervical instability. We're now gonna show you a, a very short video that shows this excessive mobility by 3D animation. So if somebody has uh, vertigo, dizziness, facial pain, migraine headaches, suboccipital headache, ringing in the ears, heart racing, memory problems, anxiety, irritability, you know, after a whiplash injury, a minor traumatic brain injury, after a concussion. A lot of those symptoms, they're due to cervical instability. The good thing about cervical instability, there's a treatment for it, and obviously the treatment that we recommend is prolotherapy. Prolotherapy to the capsular ligaments and the other ligaments in the neck causes those ligaments to repair then all of a sudden there's not excessive mobility or instability of the cervical spine, even the C1, C2 junction. The, the, those vertebrae don't have excessive movement. They don't pinch on or interfere in the autonomic nervous system nerves or regular nerves. Also C1, C2, if you stabilize that, you're not gonna have a pinching of the vertebral artery which if that artery starts losing blood supply, you can get vertebral basilar insufficiency. So I believe even uh, cervical instability can cause that condition. 
So if you have some of those symptoms, I'd really encourage you to get an evaluation for prolotherapy because we found prolotherapy eliminates many of the symptoms of post-concussion syndrome, whiplash-associated disorder, vertebral basilar insufficiency, you know, as well as degenerative disc disease or cervical spondylosis or arthritis of the neck. Thank you.